So recently, the UK-based brand Duke & Hyde released some new products. We got two new stylers and a volumizing powder, but are they any good? Should they be on your radar? We're gonna talk about all of this in today's review. Here we go. What is happening guys? My name is Mike. This is Modern Man TV. Today I have a new set of reviews for you along with a bunch of hand movements designed to trigger the complainers and give them something to live for. And before we jump into all of that, I just want to say real quick, 25k we finally made it thank you very much to those of you who both subscribed recently and put us over the top to 25k and to those that have been around for a long time you guys are the real backbone of this channel and i will be starting my big giveaway as a thank you to all of you awesome people at the end of this week i do think so far it's turning out to be a really awesome giveaway. We got a long list of products this time around, a great number of brands, and I'm super excited to go into that. So once again, thank you guys very much. And I think the only thing that we can do here now that we are 24,000 subscribers higher than some people thought we ever would be, now that we've pretty much destroyed all of those estimates, I think the only thing we can do in this position is shoot for 50. 50,000 subs, can we do it? Absolutely. So if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I invite you to do so and I thank you in advance for doing that. Now though, let's get down to business. Duke and Hyde is a UK brand and we have covered them in a prior video before we have talked about their hybrid clay and I think it was like power pay, stuff like that, beard oil. If you haven't seen that video and you're curious about it, it is in there in a previous review. I went over all the details just like I'm gonna do today. They do have a couple of new stylers in this uh, latest release bundle that we're going to look at today. We also got this volumizing powder. This is a very interesting one. So we do have a lot to cover today. I'm going to try my best to kind of hurry things along as best I can. So let's start by taking a look at what we got coming across the desk today. What we're looking at today is the new products recently added to the Duke and Hyde lineup. We got a styling fiber, a deluxe pomade, and the volumizer styling powder. Let's dive in first with the styling fiber. According to the brand, this is the perfect product to add that extra texture for flat hair. It does this by providing a medium hold with a matte finish, and they say it specializes in a great everyday hairstyle. Looking inside the jar here, we have visibly a very smooth looking product. It is a bit thicker initially, but it's also very smooth, so it's a nice balanced consistency. And breaking it down, I do get a bit of stickiness there. It actually does break down very creamy creamy too, but it's still got that nice thickness in there. But I actually don't see any fibers at all within the formula, which we will talk about at the end, but I wanted to make sure to mention that here. Let's go ahead and throw this in real quick and get our first look. I'm using this, of course, in fresh blow dried hair and putting the product in my hair, I can feel it slick and easy just as I expected. There is some stickiness there and I can feel some of that hold right away, but it's not pulling or putting up a fight here at all. When I do whip out the comb though, I do feel feel like it's somewhat weird. It's kind of like the product set in right away, like the stickiness was not allowing it to mold with the comb or change the placement of the hair. So getting a style for me was a bit hard, but this is what I ended up with. So let's move on now though and discuss the Deluxe Pomade. Again, according to the brand, the Deluxe Water-Based Pomade offers a high shine and a firm hold without added stiffness. It's obviously also easy to rinse out and just like the others in this line, it comes in a one 0.75 ounce black plastic jar. Now looking inside the jar here, by all appearances, this one looks pretty much like a standard gel type pomade. It looks just like everything we have seen in the past regarding these types of products. It's thick, it's slick, it's nice and sticky. When actually using it though, I discovered it wasn't quite business as usual with this pomade. Now we're gonna jump right into the demo. Once again, I'm of course using this one in damp hair. This is pretty standard for this type of pomade. And of course, just as 
usual, applying it is a cakewalk. There's nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to that. I did, however, notice once it was in the hair, the hold strength was a bit low in the first couple scoops. It was a bit hard to actually get it to shape until I got that third scoop in my hair, and then it finally decided to step up and bring in some control. Combing it through was also very easy, no issues there, but if you notice here, there's like no volume. It's super slick and yes, it's holding, but when it's slick back this much, it can actually be a bit of a challenge to style for me. Now, I do want to mention with this one too, it has a non-hardening function of the pomade, which I like seeing. I do think that it firms up very slightly, but for the most part, it actually didn't harden as much as other pomades of this type that we've seen in the past, which I thought was very cool. Let's move on though. I will talk about that more at the end, like I said, but let's move on now here to the volumizing powder. What this is, like we've seen in the past, is a hairstyling powder that's designed to boost your roots while providing a flexible super hold, they call it a super hold, with a matte finish. Looking at it up close, it's pretty standard as far as powders go. I didn't see or feel anything that comes across to me as out of the ordinary. It's powdery, of course, and it feels dry in the hand. That's pretty much everything that I was expecting. Moving right along here to the demo, this obviously, you wanna use it on dry hair as well. It really makes no sense at all to use this on damp hair. But this here is not just regular clean, fresh, dry hair. This is second day hair. And I did this specifically so that I could show you guys how it works with hair that's not perfectly clean. But with this stuff, I did notice right away too that the result you get comes from how much you use. I've seen people use a lot of this stuff, like way more than I'd think to use. And I think they had a really cool result. So I did experiment a little with the amounts. And as you can see here, you can actually achieve a style from using just this powder which I do think is cool. It does actually become sticky and it provides hold while also bringing in volume and acting as something of a dry shampoo, which is why I wanted to use second day hair on this demo. Okay, so now that we have gone through the specs and the demos on each of the products here, let's talk conclusions and take it one by one, starting with, let me find it, the fiber. This is another example of something that hasn't been fully worked out yet by the product community as far as classifications and questions and and you know there, there's always a couple of things that aren't fully worked out yet and we saw this with the stickmore clay fiber as well but it all goes back to that same question is a product considered a fiber even if it doesn't have visible fibers this really does not have visible fibers i think there is maybe like the start of some visible fibers there but they don't really show up like what we see on other fibers so I guess that's something to ponder. I don't think we've really come to a conclusion on that yet. The hold strength for me though, it was pretty decent on this. I thought it was adequate. However, the styling wasn't great. It was hard to achieve a style because it really set in too fast for my hair and just kind of resisted the comb. And then it led to pieces like in the back just kind of doing its own thing and standing up versus, you know, going with the flow. So it. It was a little bit hard to style with. The washout though was pretty standard for me. It was a shampoo washout, not too complicated. And as far as the scent goes, I, I actually don't, I think the scent is a little bit strong. It's it's not too bad. It is kind of a bit fruity to me and in the jar, it's a little bit stronger than it is when it's actually in your hair. I'm not a huge fan of the scent. And speaking of that, that, that I'm done with this. So let's move on to this because the scent I really did not like the scent on this, which is why I just did that whole transition there because it jogged a thought for me. I really do not like the, th the scent. I almost said the scent. The deluxe pomade scent for me was way too strong and the scent really just, it, it reminds me of medicine. It smells exactly like a cough syrup or something that I would, you know, take when I have a cold and. Yeah. The results though on the pomades, talking about the style and the performance, it wasn't bad. For me, obviously I've tried a ton of gel types and on one hand, I really like the different take on it with it not hardening. That was a super nice touch. But on the other hand, it just was not that great of a styler. If you need a pomade that's going to slick that hair back and you have super thick hair or something and you need one that's gonna help you just slick it back and just set it and forget it, I do think this will do that all day long. I think it's it'll do that all day long. I mean, granted, you don't need a ton of hold because it is listed as a firm, 
I see it more of a medium, really. I don't think it even leaves the realm of medium, but I also didn't see the volume that I'm used to just having in these scenarios. It really just covered the hair and just like, pressed it down like hat hair almost. The washout though was also a little bit different. It, a lot came out with water, but some of the oils remained in my hair, I noticed afterwards. So shampoo was needed. It didn't It didn't give me any problems with the shampoo. It came right out with one shampoo, but I wanted to make sure because a lot of people probably assume that because this is kind of indicative of a gel type that it would just rinse out, but that was not the case here. Lastly though, we have the powder. For me, the powder was probably the best out of the three. I actually really enjoyed testing this one. I liked that I could use it by itself. That was kind of new for me. The fact that it, it provides a great deal of hold and you can actually use it and mold and shape your hair. And, and I did use that to my advantage. And I also did like the fact that it acted sort of like a dry shampoo. It removed excess oils and everything from the hair. The only downside to that though, was that I found if you can, it, if you use it alongside a product, say that you pre-style with this, you get a nice foundation, you throw a product in on top of that, that kind of cleaning ability would kind of eat through the product in its attempt to clean the hair. And that would obviously affect longevity and endurance. So I found that using this alone was better for me, which is both good and bad considering others on the market do well alongside other products. So you can kind of take that for what you will. But I do think that this one is unique as far as powders go for the solo work that it's capable of doing. That's pretty much it though. If you would like to check out the these or the rest of the Duke and Hyde lineup, a link will be in the description there. And of course, if you like today's review, go to work down there with the like button and the comment section. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that as well. I will of course be back with you guys again, right here again, very soon. So until then you take it easy. I'll see you next time.